And a million adults. <laughs> and we won't have any children. Huh? We won't have what? I mean, not right away. We can have them later, can't we? My father almost died when I told him I'm marrying outside the caste. Wait till he hears this. Sir, Vishwas, you're still so young. My parents and me when they were in their thirties. Okay, 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 Lata. No, maybe we can uh, uh, we can adopt one. Chit, don't be silly. Aray, we could practice on him. <laughs> <laughs> so we would know what to do when our own brat comes along. You know, uh, like a dress rehearsal. So you want children? Yes. Lots and lots of them. Lots and lots and lots of them. Then go marry someone else. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, at least, at least let's settle for two. Okay. You mean that? One child right away, the other one will see. Cheer up. We might get twins, huh? 
Love's labor saved. <laughs> you are a clown. I don't know what my parents are going to think of you. Uh, they got to meet me first, no? Where are they? <laughs> maybe I should make you some coffee. Why, why maybe? I don't know. It's the done thing, isn't it? Well, uh, if you feel you must, then don't let me stop you. But I don't have to make it if you don't want it. But if it is the done thing, then you must. <laughs> why? There's nobody here except you and me. So who cares if it's the done thing or not? Unless you have a desperate desire to drink coffee. Do you? Not Good, you. that's settled then. <laughs> On the other hand, I think I prefer rattling cups to twiddling thumbs. Fine, I'll make some. If it's not too much of a bother, uh, actually I could do without it. Vishwas, do you or don't you want some coffee? Okay, filtered. Instant. Okay, tea. We don't make tea in this house. <laughs> well, you better get used to making it. huh? Me marrying a Saudi, my father will tolerate. But accepting a daughter-in-law doesn't make tea. He's asking too much of Excuse it. Excuse me, I'm not a Saudi. My father is Gujarati. Do you have tea in the house? No. Then you're a Saudi. <laughs> Fine. I'll go to the corner shop. I'll buy some tea, bring it back here. Not okay? right. I, I, I'll tell you when I need it. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, Vishwas, we are not even married yet. And sometimes I find you exasperating. Oh, my God. Now what? Your father is a Guchu. So? <laughs> but he doesn't drink tea. Mummy's influence, I suppose. But what a cruel thing to do to a guchu. <laughs> Not give him his tea. Your mother must be dominating the pocha. Oh, I guess daddy is a bit more pliable than usual. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm pliable? Yes. Well, I guess I am. But don't worry. I won't take advantage. What if? Mother does. Does what? You know, dominate, bully your father. No, she does not. And that's a relief, huh? This sort of thing runs in the family. That's not true. No, I'm telling you. That's not true at all. You know, my grandfather. Huh? Now, he really was a dominating type. I thought but he was he, dead. He is now, Vishwas. He wasn't before. <laughs> <laughs> Never told me much about him, so I... He died when I was very young. But you know, mom told me all about him. He used to hold secret meetings during the British Raj in this very room. You mean like a, like a freedom fighter? Yes, that was the big cause then, no? And uh, after we became free? Then he must have had his hands full. What with daddy wanting to become a dancer. Ah, uh -huh. They must have had some terrific pipes, huh? a politician <laughs> and a dancer. <laughs> must have. But daddy's always had a deep sense of respect for him. You know, that's why he never sell the house. Are most of the furniture in this house also belonged to my grandfather. Daddy refused to part with any of it. Oh, so that's it. Huh? That's what it is. What? This room, it reminded me of something. Now I know what. An antique shop. Everything here is at least 40 or 50 years old. Over here, but in the living room, everything is quite new, huh? No, see, that wasn't there before. This was the living room. Huh? My mother is the one who had the front extended. Okay? We allow very few people to come right in, huh? Only musicians and dancers. The others, we finish off with them in that room. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not a musician or a dancer. So why didn't you finish off with me in the living room? Huh? That's because you are part of the family. Not yet. I still have to approve your parents. Wait, Uncle Bay. Huh? I'll call Mutu Uncle Afnutist. I'll find out where they are. Huh? Where are you going? To use the phone. What's wrong with this beautiful phone? Oh, that's also part of that antique show. It's a dummy. Dummy. What do you get in-laws who are ready for the nut house? <laughs> Hello? Mutu Uncle? Lata here. Yeah, fine, fine. No, they're not back. That's why I called to find out. What? Multiple fractures? Who? How did that happen? He tripped on his dhoti. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's really sad, Mutu Uncle. Tripped on his dhoti? Mutu Uncle, can you tell me what time did mommy and daddy leave the hospital? How did... Right, okay. No, 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 I don't want to speak to Kala. No, we haven't fought or anything. Yes, I'll go to the hospital. I'll take buy some. Yes, yes, I'll take color with me. You know, I better rush, Mutu Uncle. The milk is boiling. Bye. <laughs> Sit down. They should be here any minute, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful, isn't it? Ah. Solid rosewood. They don't make cupboards like these anymore. What's inside? Books, old really? things. Careful, careful, please. Oh, wow. Look at that. Splendid, isn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask for this as dowry. <laughs> no. He won't give it to you. Why not? Same reason why he won't sell the house. This belonged to my grandfather. Oh, oh. looks like I should be lucky if he parts with you. <laughs> this was given to my grandfather by the Mysore Maharaja. He gave this and an award to him at the Sera. What for? And the mummy told me. I seem to have forgotten. Anyway, see, this was his most prized possession. Huh? And any time he had guests, 
he'd quickly wrap it around me. No matter how hot it was. <laughs> he was the first among the educated elite. He shunned the wearing of western suits and all. And even on formal occasions, he would wear kurtas and shawls like these. Oh. You know, Vishwas, you sit there. Let me go and do my work, please. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, listen. Can I, can, I, can I sit in the kitchen and watch you? No, thanks. Supposing I get nervous. When my mother comes, she would like to watch you making coffee, huh? so be prepared. First, my parents have to come and watch you make a monkey of yourself, so you be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> She's got eyes like a hawk, my mother. She would even check to see how far your legs are tanned. So she would know whether you wear mini skirts or not. <laughs> what kind of people use dummy phones? So Mr. Jairaj Pari? No, no, he's not in. Uh, who am I? I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm nobody. Just a... Uh, butler. I'm butler, sir. Sir and number not take... Sir and number not coming in. Me taking down name and message, please. Uh, when they're coming, are you? They're not telling, huh? One name it, please. Me asking Miss Siyama. Hey, who is that? I don't know. Someone for your father. Please talk to him. No, no, I'm busy. You take down his number. Say that daddy will call him back. He's huh? talking too much. Uh, hello? Uh, Miss Siyama is saying, Sara Nama coming soon. You kindly give me a name and message, please. Yes, yes, me writing. Yes, yes, me no writing English. Me graduate in English honors. You kindly give me a name, please. <laughs> Chagan Lal Chadani. Okay, I have written Chagan Lal Chadani. And the message? Ah, you want to build a shopping complex? Offer of two crores still open. Wait a minute. You are the one. You want to build a shopping complex, right? Never mind who I am. Listen, I got a message for you from Mr. Jairaj Pale. No, no, he's not interested. No, no, he hasn't changed his mind. Listen to me. I've got a message for you from his son-in-law to be call back after 10 years. He may be interested in your offer. Yes. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh, no one. Some uh, poor old chap seeking employment. He wanted to know if there is a vacancy for a butler or something, you know. A butler? Yeah. Are you still around? I don't know. Achha, I'll be a few minutes. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Granddaddy, she had. Must have been a terror. No wonder her father is a weirdo. <coughs> so, son, you want to be a dancer, huh? <laughs> You'll never amount to anything in life. Look at me. Look at what I've achieved. Look, look, Arab Baba. Look. Hey, what is that to say? There is more to life than money, huh? Why, oh, you ungrateful wretch, huh? Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Son, what will you do being a dancer? Nothing. Where will you go being a dancer? Nowhere. People will look at you in the street and ask, Who is he? He's a dancer. What does he do? Are nothing. He's a dancer. What does he do? Are nothing. He's a dancer. <laughs> No, 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 sir. I love dances, sir. No, 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 no. Not discord anything like that, sir. Our dances, there's so much more to them. I do. Lata! Lata! Please, put the shawl back. Yes, I'm sorry, sir. Being a beautiful shawl... Give it I to just, me. Please take it. Please sit. You, sit down. <laughs> Lata! <coughs> oh, hi! I didn't hear you come in. 
you know, I just called Mutham to find out where you are. He said you had left long ago. What took you both so long? Anyway, I'm making coffee for all of us, and I'm making bone vita for our guest. <laughs> he doesn't like instant coffee. So maybe someday when you make him some special South Indian filtered coffee, I won't be too long. Just a few minutes. I'm really sorry if I interrupted a friendly conversation. <laughs> This is terrible. What are we going to do? There is no <coughs> use worrying. This has never happened before in all my life. All our lives. In all our lives, we've never had such a problem. Not a problem. Hey, Baba, problem, crisis, whatever. We've had problems before. But never one like this. <laughs> God, what are we going to do? We will think of something first, please. Shut up. <laughs> I know, I haven't made a very good first impression, but... I would be more comfortable if you didn't think of me as a crisis or a problem. <laughs> what are you talking about? Can I ask you the same question? <laughs> we are not talking about you. We don't even know you. Sir, I am Vishwas sir. I am your yes, daughter yes, sir. Yes, we know all that. But we don't know you well enough to think of you as a problem or anything. Understand? Oh, oh. That's a relief sir. What? That we don't know you? No sir. That you don't think of me as a crisis or a problem. Ten days. That's all we have. Uh, we'll find somebody else. Who? Everybody is booked. We could ask, uh, huh, Seshadri. He knows our repertoire. Seshadri, are you mad? He's busy rehearsing with that Chandra Kala. It'll only take a day's rehearsal. He won't have the time. Are he's not rehearsing all day for 10 days with Chandra Kala. When he's not rehearsing with her, he's sleeping with her. Chi, 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 chi. Please, you must not talk like this. You must not listen to all this gossip. It's not gossip. I've seen it with my own eyes. When? In that hotel in Moscow, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I saw him sneaking down the corridor <coughs> and into her room. What were you doing in the hotel <laughs> corridor at 3 o'clock in the morning? Watching to see whose room you had sneaked into. I was downstairs in the bar drinking vodka with that Yakshagana group. How do you know? How do I know what? How do you know? That was too quick an answer. How do you know which night I was talking about? Are, there was only one night in Moscow that I stayed up late drinking vodka. That was 10 years ago. How do you remember so clearly? If you can remember <laughs> watching Seshadri uh, sneak down a hotel corridor 10 years ago, then I can remember getting drunk with a gang of Yakshagana men. I remember them very clearly. Plucked eyebrows, bad makeup. You see, you see, I remember. Uh, I know this is none of my business, but <clears throat> uh, aren't you straying away from the problem? As far as I can gather, you need someone desperately within 10 days. Uh, someone like this Sheshadri, but not Sheshadri because he's busy doing whatever he's doing. <laughs> You're intelligent. Thank you, sir. But how does that help us? You're right, it doesn't. Madam, if I knew exactly what you want, Sorry, I could have I took provided so long. You know, the gas got over. I even had to tilt the cylinder. <laughs> I thought I'd call you for some help, then I didn't think it was such a good idea. <laughs> so, Amma, what do you think of him? We aren't thinking of him. <laughs> ah, that it's me you're thinking of, huh? Hey, Vishwas, I hope you haven't been talking to them about your money and all. Mama, don't worry, he has loads of it. His father owns half the buildings on Commercial Street, I told you, no? We were not talking about my money. No, why not? I seem to be in the middle of a problem. <laughs> what problem financially? No, your parents seem to have a problem and I'm right in the middle of it. You are not. You don't even know what the problem is. Lata, you should be the one to worry. What uh, about? What about? About Srinivas breaking his arm. Who is going to play the Mridangam for your performance? Oh my God, it didn't even strike me. He's uh, gone and broken his arm. Why did it have to be him? I wouldn't have cared if that Mutaya had broken his neck. CB Srinivas Amridangis. A flute is a violinist we can do without, but this. Tripped on his dhoti. My God, this is a crisis. It's <laughs> <laughs> a special talent. Of course it is. Playing any instrument requires a special talent. No, 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 no. I I meant wearing a dhoti. You know, you got to go to hang of it, no, sir. Sir, I wore one once, sir. You know, I had to kick it out of a way like a sari. But of course, I've never worn a sari before. But Vishwas, 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 but Vishwas, this is serious. Please sit down and drink your bone vita. Sit down. <laughs> Shrinu has been wearing a dhoti ever since he grew out of half pants. Must have been drunk. You're right, madam. He was the wearing a dhoti. He was drunk. Serious, I told you. Just sit down. I don't want it. Worrying is not going to help. Think of all the people we know. Have you asked Seshadri, uncle? Yeah. Certainly not, thank God. I hate that potbellied lech. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to get an Aspro for my headache. You're taking too many Aspro. Please I, stop taking so many Aspro. I tried that Novalgin. It doesn't help. 
Oh, I'm going to kill yourself one day. Please stop taking so many tablets. I have to. I can't take this tension. What tension? There's plenty of time. You are worrying about nothing. Nothing. Our daughter's going to give a performance that will make her career and she won't have a rhythm of playing. No, 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 no. How do you expect her to dance? How do you expect her to give her best? What are we going to tell the President of India? Now, that there's going to be no dance tonight? Tell all no, those foreign diplomats to go home? In my life, I've had problems. Problems which you know about but conveniently forget. I've not gone through all that to see my daughter's career finished overnight. Not finished. Finished. Just like me. You should have listened to your father. Dance has brought us nowhere. It's his curse on us. Nothing seems worth it anymore. It all seems so worthless. You should have listened to your father. We were never anything great. Never will be and nor will our daughter be anything but an average human being. Lata <laughs> is not average. If she can't dance, what else can she be? There were times when we did not dance. <laughs> and look where we are. We are fine. <laughs> At fine. least I am fine. You, you are nothing but a spineless boy who couldn't leave his father's house for more than 48 hours. You stopped being a man for me the day you came back to this house. For 40 years, you have been holding that against me. You're right. I'm worrying about nothing. Because nothing is what we are. You're going mad. Mama. <laughs> No matter what happens, I'll dance at that festival for all those people and for you. So don't worry, no, please. Will finding a musician make me a man? And he, you also. You. <laughs> maybe I should leave. Yes, maybe you should. I'll come back some other time. If you want to. Good night, sir. Hmm? Where are you going? Daddy. Going home. I think we've embarrassed him enough. Please. Stay for a while. All right. I'll stay for a while. Come. Sit down. Drink your bon vita. <laughs> I don't want it, sir. I hate it. <laughs> Lata, take it away. Your daddy has some coffee at least. I don't want it. I hate it. I always have. Look, I'm sorry. We are not usually so inhospitable to our guests. Huh? Please excuse us. I understand, sir. Do you? Yes, sir, I, I do, sir. What do you understand? That you're worried about Lata's performance, so you couldn't pay much attention to me. It's okay, sir. I, I... Not only her performance. No? Then what is it? You drink? No, sir. I drink sometimes, sir, with friends, but never in front of elders, sir. It's all right. Look, I, I think this seems to be the, the wrong day to be discussing wedding plans and all, no? It's so, all right. I finished apologizing to your friend. Good. Then you can leave and come back some other time, and then we'll have the discussion. Yes, sir. You go to your mother's room and you sleep with her tonight. Daddy, she's in one of her moods. You know what she gets like. I know. That's why I'm sleeping in your room tonight. <laughs> She'll tell me all the miseries of her life and I don't want to hear that all night. You are only hearing them. I have lived through them. <laughs> you know, that's one thing I will never do. Bore my children talking about the failures in my life. Good night, Vishwas. <coughs> Sir, don't give me too much, huh? just a little bit. <laughs> Soda, well, if you could uh, give me some uh, good, because we don't have any. Drink it neat. And don't ask me for ice because I won't get it for you. Cheers. <laughs> what about you, sir? Straight from the bottle. <laughs> See, I'm not supposed to be drinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why you hear it in the cupboard, huh? <laughs> Shut up and drink. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to 
tell me what's worrying you. Was I? That's why you asked me to stay back, I think. It's not worrying that worries me. No? Then what is it? Stopping. Looking back. Seeing that you have not come very far and not likely to get much further. <laughs> that was very uh, deep. <laughs> so tell me about your life. Uh, my life? Uh, there's nothing much to tell. It hasn't started yet. Yes. It hasn't started yet. <laughs> you can wait till you're 60 for it to start and it won't. So your father is a... Is a no, sir. You say Mithai wala, sir. That's what it is. Big shop and commercial street, sir. Akar wala street. Makes a lot of money. It's okay, sir. It's a family business. He's really made good money from his buildings. Black money. Jet black, sir. <laughs> buildings, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Strange. What? That is exactly how my father made his money. Oh, buildings. Ah, houses, bungalows like this one. See? He bought them very cheap. Then when the British left, there was a huge demand for these bungalows. Oh, he made a lot of money. One of the richest men in town, Amrit Lal Parikh, said Ji to the city. And you know what he did with all that money? And he spent it all in reconstructing India. <laughs> Actually, all that he did was to give it away in loans to his friends and relations. That's what he was. My father. My father wouldn't loan money to me if I wanted it. <laughs> Neither did he. He gave it to everybody else except me. Why, sir? Craft of a prostitute. To show off her wares. What business did a man have learning such a craft? What use could it be to him? No use. Therefore, no man would learn such a craft. Therefore, any man who learned such a craft could not be a man. Now, you tell me, how could I argue against such logic? But you fought back. That was good. You did what you wanted to do. You were um, steadfast. Brave. And brave too. Ah, brave word. <coughs> what really happened, sir? What happened? Nothing happened. Hey, nothing happened, that's what I'm telling you. You heard my wife just now, no? Nothing is what we are. After 40 years of marriage, she tells me, she does not think of me as a man, but only as a spineless boy. And you know something? I agree with her. <laughs> but why, sir? She knows why. You must have hated your father, no? Maybe. Lata tells me that you respected him a lot. Did she tell you that? Yes, yes. That's why you kept this portion unaltered, just like a um, shrine in his memory. Rubbish! <laughs> I kept it this way because it's mine. This is where I spent my childhood. I removed all traces of him. He had a lot of spare time. He spent all his spare time making gardens, creepers running up and down the walls. After he died, I removed them all. I pull them out by the roots. Later on, after we made some money from our dance school, then we extended the front of the house. You see, we had made quite a reputation for ourselves from our performances abroad. And that made us local celebrities. And, uh, and the shawl? Why have we kept this shawl? It's a beautiful shawl, sir. You know, I was asking Lata if you would give it to me as dowry. Hmm? No, 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 no. I don't want anything. I was just joking. She said you won't part with it because it belonged to your father. Let us see how you look wearing it. <coughs> me? Really? Sir? Sir? It looks fantastic on me, sir. It'll go very well with the Sherwani. You like it? I love it, sir. You can have it. Oh. <coughs> such a 
God is so generous of you. I'll take good care of it, sir. I'll fold it neatly. I'll put it in a bag. I'll wash it every day, Not sir. Not now. Later. After you are married to Lata. So, sorry, sir. I completely misunderstood, sir. Sir, sir, take it. It's yours, sir. I'll... Yes, sir. Certainly, sir. Good night, sir. Uh, you know, uh, one thing Lata was right about, sir. You are uh, different. <laughs> Bed. Wonder why she did that. Oh, wonder why. Now don't pretend. You asked her to come and console me, didn't you? So, are you consoled? It doesn't matter. You'll have to sleep in her room tonight. I'll manage. You've been drinking, haven't you? A little bit. That boy wanted a drink so badly, I kept him company. You've been drinking quite a lot, I can tell, just by looking at you. Maybe. And where did you get the liquor from? Lata, make sure there's none in the house at any time. Oh, now it is you who are pretending. What do you mean? You know very well that I keep the liquor in there. <laughs> if I'd known, I'd have taken it away. You did take it away. And you put it back after diluting it with water. You are drunk. See, the next time you want to drink, don't bother diluting it with water. <laughs> that way you have to drink twice as much to get the same kick. I don't need a kick like you. I, I have a little bit now and then to settle my nerves. Mm. Come, come, come. Sit down, no? Why? Are sit down, no, Ratna Devi. Can I get you a Please, drink? Jai, I'm in no mood for your jokes. Oh, Jai. You called me Jai. You've not called me Jai in God knows how long. This calls for a real <laughs> celebration. Yeah. I always use a glass. Very good. <laughs> we have not expressed ourselves so well to each other for a long time now. Maybe we should drink together more often. At least that way we'll be more honest with each other. When have I been dishonest with you? Huh? <laughs> See what I mean about diluting it with water? <laughs> Have another drink. Feeling better? Good. Now we can talk. Yes, you know, I've decided to ask Chandrakala to lend Seshadri as a favor. They might need our help sometimes, so she's bound to oblige. Good idea. It's settled then, huh? I'll call her in the morning. So, you think we would have been happier if we had not returned here? Are you talking about... Yes. Why bring it up now, after 40 years? You brought it up. What did you say? That you did not think of me as a man because we could not survive on our own. I didn't say it like that. Your face tells me that you did. Honey, you mustn't take notice of everything I say when I'm upset. <laughs> it's the only time you make any sense to me. I'm going to bed. I suggest... You do the same. What did you want me to do, huh? Stay on at your uncle's. Will you please? That's what you'd have preferred me to Don't. do. Don't. Huh? 
to stay on at your uncle's. Please. To stay on at your Don't uncle's say after it. your uncle asked you to Don't. go to bed with him. Eh? And you think that he made such interesting proposals to all his other nieces? No, 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 no. Because that would have been a great sin. You were different. Because you were meant for entertainment. What kind? The minor detail. So what was wrong in coming back to my father's house? At least my father never Stop asked Stop it! Me. I'm sorry. You must not take any notice of what I say when I'm drunk. Please, please forgive me. I didn't mean anything I said when I was upset. You mean you did not believe what you said was true? No. Funny, I do. You know how anxious I'm about Lata's <coughs> performance. If she does well, she'll be a national figure. Then, then we can butter up the right ministers. We can even get foreign tours arranged. You know how hard we've had to struggle. I just don't want Lata to face the same difficulties, that's all. You should understand how I feel. Don't change the subject. I'm only explaining. If that is how you felt, it is I who should be congratulating you for keeping it such a secret all this time. <laughs> I don't feel bad about it. Truth was bound to spring out sometime or the other. You are only <laughs> human after all. I am human and so are you. So what if you couldn't support your family on your own? Are you were interested in, in higher things. Something better than working for money alone. And if your father had this house and he could support us, what was wrong with our coming back? Return here. Come back after accepting defeat. That was an impulsive decision to leave. But we were both to blame. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. So kind of you not to blame me alone. Or maybe it is not kindness. <clears throat> but something else, a little deeper, eh? like guilt. I forgive you, you forgive me, forgive you for what you did to Shankar. Don't mention that name to me. Oh, please forgive me. I promise never to mention Shankar's name again. You promised me. I only wish. What? That we could start again? I don't know. Just seems so petty now. Not worth all the sacrifices. It was too great a price to pay, Jay. And yet you wish the same life for our daughter. Times have changed, and things will be easier for her in some ways. Of course, of course, she's talented and she can become famous. And that will make all that we have been through worth something. Yes, yes. I wish Lata more fame than we ever had. Why, she can be the best. We just have to push her a bit. And then with our experience behind her, she can't fail. Yes, I'll do anything to see that Lata reaches the top. Even if it means being sweet to that bitch, Chandra Kala. Ah, good. Now you're sounding normal again. In 10 <laughs> days, you'll see. Our Lata will be the talk of the town. I've taken care of the critics already. I promised that C.V. Suri, I would make him the chief guest at the Navratri festival. <laughs> that old fogey loves to be garlanded on stage. If he gives her a day review, the others will dream of doing differently. Things would have been so perfect if that Srinu hadn't. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. I'm going to bed now. What did you think of Vishwas? Huh? Oh. <laughs> that boy that Lata brought home this evening? Seems all right, a bit strange, but okay. Why? Oh, no particular reason. I've just given my consent to that marriage, that's all. He's well off, isn't he? <laughs> From what he tells me, yes. And he will let her dance? Yes. In uh, that case, just make sure the wedding is after the Navratri festival. <laughs> what a woman. After the Navratri festival.
soon I'll be rid of you too. That I won't see you anymore. Wearing this shawl. <coughs> wearing this shawl. And walking around this room. Wearing this shawl and walking. Walking around this room. They will leave before you get Now, alive. now, now. I, I want them out now. I can't just ask them to leave, can I? This Guruji of yours, he has no other student or what? <laughs> He's the most sought after Guru in India. Then why is he spending his entire day in my house? <laughs> Look, I will not argue with you on that. I've got work to do. That will excuse me. I need to go. Since we stop now, the musicians want coffee. Uh, musicians. They look for any excuse to pretend to feel offended. I'll get your tea in a minute, Bapu. Are don't bother about my tea. Look after your guests. The coffee won't take time. The decoction is ready. Can't even have a decent vessel in this house. Oh! Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! You can't have decent rehearsal in this house. Are I can't have a moment of peace and quiet in my own house. Bad enough giving my library's practice hall for you. Why did you do it if you didn't want to? I thought it was only passing fancy. I would have made a cricket pitch for you on our lawn if I thought you liked cricket. Most boys like cricket, my boy likes dance, I thought to myself. Never realized this fancy will turn into obsession. Then you have your obsessions. If you mean my involvement in fighting for your freedom, yes, it was obsessed. Obsessor. You had yours. Allow me to have mine. How can you even compare that? As far as I can see, I can. 
as far as you can see, but you cannot see very far. No, <laughs> that's the whole trouble. Where this dance is going to lead you? If we hadn't gained independence, where would your revolutions have led you? I would like to see what kind of independence that you gain with all these antics. The independence to do what I want to do. I have never stopped you from doing what you want to do, but beta, there comes a time, no? But you must do what is expected of you. You cannot even earn your livelihood from this dance. Is it your wife? She is forcing you. No one's forcing you. Ah, maybe she is by influencing you. That is something I repent. Giving my consent to your marriage. Don't pretend it suited your image that of a liberal minded person to have a daughter in law outside your community. This is different. Where are your progressive ideas now? Hmm? Where is the spirit of revolution? You didn't fight to gain independence. Huh? You fought for power in your hands. Why? You are as conservative and prudish as the people who are ruling over us. You are mistaken, Beta. Gaining independence was only part of our goal. It is what we do now that counts now. And somebody has to be in charge. Yes, charge. And you know very well that we are eradicating certain shameful and ugly practices which are harmful to our society. Like dowry, untouchability. Yes, yes. And... But you know what I mean. No, 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 no. You have no knowledge of the subject. You are ignorant. Beta, you know that we are building ashrams for these unfortunate women. We are educating them. We are reforming Reform? them. Reform? <laughs> if you really wanted any kind of reform in society, you would let them practice their art, their dance. Encourage open prostitution. Send them back to their temples. Gives them awards for preserving our art. <laughs> Peter, it is you are mistaken now. <laughs> Most of these people have given up their art, as you are calling it, and have taken to selling their bodies. I hold you responsible for that. <laughs> you are going mad. We give them back their homes. <laughs> give them back their profession. I will not have our temper turned into brothel. I will not have my art run down by a handful of narrow-minded, stubborn individuals with fancy pretentious ideals. Nobody is running down your art, but definitely it is the people that you are associating with. That Who? Are... You should be. You should be happy that people from respectable families like yours are taking to encouraging, reviving this art, this dance. You should be encouraging them instead of being a hindrance. I have never stopped you from reviving your art. The people you are associating with. Who do you mean? Your Guruji. What family is from? His mother is not a Devdasi, if that's what you want to know. Why he wears his hair so long? Why do you ask? I have never seen a man wearing his hair so long. All sadhus have long hair. I don't mean our saints and holy men. I meant normal men. What are you trying to say? I am only saying that I have never seen a normal man wearing his hair so long. Are you saying that? I have also seen him. I, I have seen him walking in the street. Chick, 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 chick. <laughs> disgusting. You are insane. Bobby, Bobby, for the artist. Do you want your coffee here? Will you have it with Guruji? I'll get your father's tea in a minute. Jay? It's alright, I'll leave your Make coffee. it in Rasta, I will have it with Guruji. No, really, it's not a problem. Keep your father's tea. Please! Coffee. Give me the tree. I'll serve it. You can make tea for your father in law. I'll uh, get your tea in a minute, Bapu. I don't want any tea, no. no really, it's not a problem, Bapu. Come, come, come. Sit with me, no? Come, come, sit here. What happened? Hmm? What happened between you two? He looked a little upset. Nothing happened. We were only talking. Hmm. I happened to mention long hair. <laughs> <coughs> what is so funny? So he told you, huh? 
What? That he is planning to grow his hair long. <laughs> it would enhance his abhinaya. <laughs> I see. That was his idea or maybe yours. Actually, it was our Guruji's suggestion. <laughs> you tell him, if he grows his hair one inch longer, I will shave his head. I will throw him on the street. I will. Yes, I'll, I'll tell him. Now, I'll uh, get back to the class. Huh? So where you were yesterday? I really should Where you were whole over yesterday? I told you where I was going. Yes, but where you went instead? I, I don't think I know what you mean. You told me you were going to visit Shiva temple. Yes, like I do every Monday. Every Monday, is it? Yes. Nothing changes. When we were young, when Jai's mother and I were newly married, we were not allowed to go anywhere alone together, especially not to see cinema. But we were allowed to go to Shiva temple. When we wanted to see cinema, we told everyone, we are going to Shiva temple. <laughs> Nobody took objection. Bapu, if I wanted to see the cinema, I would have told you the truth. That is because you know I will not take objection to your seeing cinema. I would have told you anyway. <laughs> but suppose it was somewhere else. Somewhere else where you know I will definitely take objection. <coughs> where would that be? And you know very well, because that is where you were yesterday afternoon. Fortunate for us that it was Mukesh Bhai Patel who saw you. I can trust him, no, to keep his mouth shut. He called me at once, out of concern for the family name. I haven't done anything wrong to spoil our family name. Yes, but you know how people, they are always assuming the words. Papu, then you should start by reforming such people. Instead of pointing hey, fingers at your daughter-in-law hey, before hey, you can realize hey, what... Don't you preach to me! I know! I have to do. Papu, I have always been taught to speak to my elders with respect. But since I haven't done anything wrong, I see no reason why I shouldn't speak up. Papu Chenni Amma is the oldest living exponent of the Mysore School of Dance. And she is the only link we have with the old school. She doesn't even have a single student who is dedicated enough to absorb her knowledge. Papu, she is 75 and dying, Papu. And nobody even goes to visit her. No relatives, no friends. Ah, yes. There is the occasional journalist or curious foreigner who go knocking at her door. But they don't do much for her. Throw her a few annas out of pity. But you know, she doesn't mind all this. She doesn't even mind being poor and lonely. What really frustrates her, Bapu, is that in her youth, she did not have the freedom to, to express her art. All her childhood years were spent in training, but training that she could never use. All a waste now for her. She spends her time now at the temple steps selling flowers. Papu, when she found out I was a dancer, she greeted me and she pleaded. She pleaded with me to learn the art of Abhinaya from her. You know, she even tried to tempt me, saying she would teach me a few compositions she remembered from memory. It was important for her, Papu, that she should impart her knowledge to somebody who was worthy of it. And it was important for me to learn what she had to offer. That's why every Monday, instead of going to the Shiva temple, I go to Chenyama's house. And you dance in her courtyard eh, for all to see. Only those who are curious enough to peer over the courtyard walls, no? To see where the sound of dancing bells are coming from. Your bells. Sound of your bells. Yes. Sound of your bells coming from the courtyard of a... Of a... Of a... Prostitute. She is 75 years old, Bapu. People! are peering over her walls to see my daughter-in-law dancing in her courtyard? Yes, but dancing the divine dance of Shiva and Parvati. You tell me something. You think what you are doing is right? Yes, my husband knows where I go. I have his permission. Harry, your husband happens to be my son. And both of you are under my charge. And it is my permission you should be asking for to dance, not his. You would not have given it to me. And I never will. Papu, then if you don't allow me to go there, then uh, I'll just ask her to come here. <laughs> never! <laughs> not in this house, ever! What objection do you have to a withered old lady coming to your house? It's my dancing in her courtyard you object to, no, Papu? I do not want you visiting with her. First, that is all. Papu, you cannot stop me from learning an art. I do not want you visiting with that woman, but that is all and that is the end of this discussion. And I'm so sorry that I've stopped you from jingling your bells. Only one request I'm making. Please finish this session quickly so that 
these people can leave before my guests arrive. God forbid two should be bumping into each other. They finished their coffee. Why didn't you serve them sweets? One of them even hinted he wanted to have sweets. <laughs> you know how they love to feel insulted, don't you? I have to pay the musicians. Mm. You know, it's nice to know that they are already feeling insulted. So they won't feel any worse when we ask them to leave. Even the no, no, I'll take it to the kitchen. He wants to do a padam now. The older they get, the crankier they become. And who said anything about them leaving? It'll be 5 rupees. Mm. Hey, I'm leaving this in your hair now. Huh? I will give you 10 minutes. Then I will come and I will personally ask them to leave. Don't worry. I'll think of an excuse. Good. And see, if you promise with me not to visit with that woman, I will not feel it necessary to restrict your movement. <laughs> <It's tricked. laughs> what is so funny? I really feel sorry for you, Bapu. Strange way of showing your sorrow laughing like that. I really do feel sorry. Why? Bapu, tomorrow... Jairad starts learning a new dance form. Kuchipudi. So? In Kuchipudi Bapu, the men dress up as women. Restrict my movements. <laughs> Can I have my money now? Yes. Buy rupees. Money. You please ask these people not to enter my doorstep again. You can't do that. I'm sorry, Beta. But you promised. That was long ago. You promised you'll allow me to continue with my hobbies. That was when this was a hobby and you were only a boy. I didn't grow up, Jaira. I don't want to grow up. <coughs> you can't stop me from doing what I want to do. As long as you are under my charge, I have mind it. Guruji! Guruji! Why did they leave? Huh? Did my father say no? Don't worry. I told him he was tired. He said he would leave. He said he would return tomorrow. They were not. Okay. No, he will not be returning tomorrow because I will be sending him personal letter of regret. <clears throat> as long as we are under your charge. As long as we are under his charge. I won't even ask you what happened. Hello. Hello, Mukesh, my please. Hello, Mukesh. Can't show. Are that woman know that you saw my daughter-in-law with her yesterday? I believe she's not well. Send her a doctor. Also, Mukesh Bhai, make her a donation. 500 rupees from my side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I will send you my only tomorrow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That was uh, very generous of you. Compensation for depriving her of the services of her only student. Come on, I have to pack some of your clothes, we are leaving. Where are we going? We will decide that later, first let's get out of here. But Jay, you haven't taken everything. Never mind. Jay Raj, we could take our belongings and leave tomorrow. We don't need anything fancy. <coughs> and as of now, we are no longer under your charge and will never be again. Never! Jay.
I didn't see you in Lata's room. Uh. Are, come to bed now. Uh. I can't sleep with her. She tosses and turns too much. It disturbs my sleep. Mm. And you can't share a blanket with her. She pulls it all to her side in her sleep. I pity that Viswas. You know, I was thinking, I don't think it's such a good idea to ask Chandrakala to lend Seshadri. No? He might plot to sabotage Lata's performance. He might play the wrong ala. People don't know whose mistake it is and they always blame the dancer. You remember when Saraswati got Nandini's cousin for the show? Same thing I was thinking. Same thing. <laughs>
All right. I will allow it. I realize, of course, that you are coming back more out of necessity than out of any real desire to patch up what you have undone. But I don't mind. I take no pleasure from it. Eh? I also take no pleasure from reminding you that it was you who had vowed never to enter this doorstep again. But no, no. I will not remind you of all that. I am above all that. <laughs> but I definitely mind your silence. Because that carries with it too much hatred. Never my intention to get you to hate me. What father would want that from his son? So I have changed my mind and I will allow you to dance. I will be very happy, no, if you can earn your livelihood from dance. If you ask me for money, I will not refuse, but I will be disappointed. See, <coughs> I have been fortunate to invest all my money in the right places. But please don't think that you have any right to all my wealth. Eh? <laughs> Far better thing to do than to be handing it around to you. So, you may continue to use my library as your practice hall. And your Guruji can come here twice a week in the morning to practice. And I hope that I have made myself clear. Have I made myself clear? Yes. Very clear. Jairaj, don't grow your hair any longer. <clears throat> and you need not learn from anyone else again. You understand? You are very kind. You only want to see the two of you happy. No, oh, we are. Are you? Can't you tell? <laughs> Do you know where a man's happiness lies? No. Are you in being a man? That sounds very profound, Babu, but what does it mean? Does Jairaj know where his happiness lies? He does, but I don't think it fits in with your idea of where it should be. <laughs> I realize that. And for that, I am disappointed. I'm really sorry that you are disappointed. There's nothing much I can do about it. Yes, you can do a lot. I don't think I know what you mean. See, I have seen this world and I can recognize a clever woman when I see one. Oh, thank you, I think. Tell me something. <coughs> How do you feel dancing with your husband? And how do you feel when you see him wearing costume, Papu, made up? You seem to forget I married him because he's a dancer. No, nah, no, nah, that is what he believes. <laughs> but I am far more difficult to convince than that. It's the truth. Is it? Yes. Or did you marry him because he would allow you to dance? That too, but... More of that than the past? Yes. You are also intelligent enough to realize that the decision to allow you to dance lies more in my hands than in his. You have made that perfectly clear, Bapu. But don't worry. I will never stop you from dancing. I will always help you to dance. Jairaj, you do intend to stop him from dancing, don't you? In spite of what you just said. See, a man... A woman in a man's world may be considered progressive. But a man in a woman's world is only pathetic. Maybe we aren't progressive enough for no, you. No, 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 that is not being progressive. That is only sick. Then why did you tell him just now that he could dance? You tell me something. How good he is as a dancer? He is good. Only good, not brilliant. And you? But if I practice, then I know that I might... And you might become famous, no? I might. Ah, that is what I thought. Poor boy, wasting his time. He's not wasting his time or anything, Bapu. Anyway, help me know. Help me to make him an adult. Help me to help him to grow up. How? 
this is too difficult for me to explain to you. I need that to you. You help me, and I will always see that you dance. I know it will be difficult. I know it will take time, but it must be done. I'll try. No, 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 no. You'll have to do far better than that. All right. But Bapu, once he stops dancing, what do you intend to do with him then? <laughs> Make him worthy of you. How nice of you to call. And thank you so much for the flowers. Lata was so pleased. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, I'll tell her. She'll be thrilled to hear that. Oh, yes, of course. Why shouldn't she be thrilled? Compliments like these coming from you? <laughs> no, I don't mean because you're a minister or anything like that, but because you're known to be so knowledgeable about dance and also known to be so critical. If people like you praise her, she has every reason to be happy. And if a person no less than the President of India stood up and gave her a standing ovation. Mm. Oh yes, of course. When Lata finished her tilana, I stood up and applauded. Yes. He stood up because he was in a hurry to go to the toilet. <laughs> anyway, I really do appreciate that you're taking the trouble to call. Especially since you're so busy organizing that Indian festival in Canada. If you wish, I could wake Lata up. But you know, after last night's performance, she deserves a rest. Still, if you wish I could call her, then I ask her to call you back? No, 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 it's no trouble. I'll ask her to call you back. Especially because you're and, organizing uh, the Indian she, festival And in if you Canada. need any help in organizing, please do not hesitate to ask Jairaj and me. We've known each other so long, we're, we're practically like a family. <laughs> Now you're making uh, yourself obvious. By the by, have you decided on your selection committee? We really must have more dancers this time. Not like that France fiasco. Oh, you have? Anyone we know? Who? Chandra Kala? <laughs> yes, yes, a very good dancer 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm so happy for her and her daughter Mala. Oh, no. Well, it does help to have your mother on the selection committee. I know oh, not that I'm saying that Chandra Kala Devi would be partial or anything like that. I mean, there is such a thing as ethics. Mm, it's there. <laughs> but you will have the final say, won't you? <laughs> oh, are you I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize I was keeping you from important work. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling. So kind of you. Bye. Don't push her. You're making yourself obvious. Are, I'm not pushing. He called. Exactly. He called. He called because he liked her. No need for you to force yourself in. Rapesh. Lata. In a few hours, he'll have forgotten all about her. What with that Chandrakala Devi after him? How do you know she's after him? He's put her on the selection committee. Lata, are you awake? Do you think I'm pushing by talking to him that Chandrakala Devi is probably sitting on his lap? She couldn't. <laughs> That's what you think. Are he is far, she is far too fat and he is far too skinny. Lata, are you awake? Yes, mommy, give me two minutes. 
Are you ready? Has she, has she, doesn't she want to read her reviews? Uh, she's afraid they're going to be bad. But, but this is a rave review, didn't you tell her? I thought I would surprise her, you know, let her come down. After that, you can go down to the news stall and get the Herald and the Times. Only the Express comes out the next day. The other two come out after another day or two at least. Not this time. They promised. I promised that C.V. Suri, I would make him the chief guest at the Navratri festival. <laughs> <laughs> you see, these critics have to hand in their review the same evening itself. Most of them don't have the time for it. Unless, of course, they've written the review before the performance, which sometimes they do, eh? Mind it. <laughs> Ratna! Oh, Ratna! Yes, yes. Sit there reading your newspaper while the whole world is knocking at our door. Hello? Hello, Seishali. Did you sleep well? Yes, yes, we read the Express. Do you know that C.V. Suri is such an intelligent critic? He really knows his subject. For what, Sesha? No, no, really. I don't know what you're apologizing so much about. So what if you played the wrong tala in the beginning? I immediately stopped you, didn't I? <laughs> don't worry, it happens to the best of people. And how is Chandra Kala? Please congratulate her on my behalf. Oh, you don't know. Devraj Gowda has put her on the selection committee for choosing dancers for Canada. <coughs> I'm so happy for her and her daughter, Mala. But I'll tell you a secret. Devraj asked me if I would like to be on the selection committee, but I told him, since I knew all the dancers personally, it would be a very delicate matter for me to choose. So I told him he mustn't waste any time in asking Chandrakala. She's just the person I told him. <laughs> it's nothing, Sesha. After all, what are friends for? <laughs> Don't worry, Sesha. I'll make sure you're included. Don't worry. Within the year, you will be in Canada. <laughs> Excuse me now. I think the milk is boiling. Thank you so much for calling. It was so kind of you. Bye. One of these days, I'm going to break his mitzvah. Sir, sir. Herald and Times rave reviews. Ah, and here. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, yeah, Express. It is coming Express also. Uh, oh. Lata Parik, star of the festival. Lata excels. Oh, what a headline. Lata Parik leaves rest far behind. Oh, wait till she reads this. Are Lata, Lata, come read your rave reviews. Yes, Daddy, give me two minutes. Ah, uh, this Vishwas is here. Oh, in that case, give me five minutes. <laughs> Blessed with a supple figure and expressive face, Lata Parik executed the adabus neatly and with precision. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Nitya and Abhinaya were unparalleled and truly remarkable for a dancer so young in years. Under the expert guidance of Shrimati, Ratna, Parekh and Sri Jairaj Parekh, your name has come, sir. Yeah. <laughs> this one star will shine brightly in the sky of Bharat Natyam. What, what are they writing? Huh? Her <laughs> angashot and grip over rhythm place Lata Parekh head and shoulders above the other artists, including veterans like Chandrakala Devi. Huh. Truly Lata Parekh with perseverance and dedication will find a place amongst the immortal artists like Bala Saraswati and Rukmini Devi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's great. I mean, that's, that's, that's wonderful. I mean, I don't know what Angashud and all that means, but sir, it sounds so wonderful. Sir. It means she is a genius. Our daughter is a genius. That's oh, what it means. Shining star, sir. Shining star. Ah, shining star. Shining star. Oh, oh, shining star. Oh, oh, yes, yes, come. Yes, come. Star of the decade. Yes, sir. Shining star. Of the thank day. you. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Lata. Thanks, Abhan. Now come. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Read your rave reviews. Here. 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 And, and here. Yeah, you do. I got two of them. This was, I, I hope you're staying for breakfast. No, no. I've had mine already. Thank you so much. It's only it leaves. You can have one. My God, I don't believe this. Yes, you must believe it. You are famous now. Mostly mommy's efforts pushing me forward. Yeah, I wouldn't give her the credit entirely. <laughs> Daddy, 
This one actually liked my tillana. Her sculptural poses and flourishes were truly a delight to view. <laughs> That's enough. They were very good, huh? except that you made them all up at the last minute. Not I mean, enough. What to do? I forgot the last jati, so I simply posed until the music finished. But didn't I finish with a flourish? No, I love those poses, sir. <laughs> They didn't remind me of the sculptures like the ones we see on postcard, where the where the dancer is talking to a parrot or something, sir. Anyway, it looked good, sir. How can it look good? I'm telling you, no. She's not supposed to talk to a parrot in the middle of a tilana. <laughs> we didn't know that. And I love the way she finished with the flourish. We knew then it was time to clap. Please sit down and drink your water. Terry, this one's hysterical. Lata's rendition of the Ashtavadi from Geet Govindam was tenderly intense. An intensely tender. <laughs> the audience was transported to Gokulam, where they witnessed Radha pining for her divine lover who had failed to arrive. Lata's tearful expression and heaving bosom conveyed all that was humanly possible. Arey, my bosom was heaving because I was breathless from the previous varanam. Please, critics. I, I didn't quite like that one. <laughs> Excuse me? You did not like Jaydev's Geet Govinda? No. No? No. I, I don't have anything against Mr. Jaydev. <laughs> so, what was it that you did not like? <laughs> Nothing. On second thoughts, I quite liked it. <laughs> Your friend here didn't like your Ashtapati. Why did you ask him what was it about it he did not no, like? No, sir. I, I never said I didn't like the Ashtapati. Of course you said it. No, sir. I never said I didn't like the Ashtapati. I see. So now you're saying I'm going senile. Huh? I'm hearing things. That's what you're saying. No, sir. No, sir. I, I, I love the Ashtapadi. How can I hate something when I don't even know what it means? <laughs> but you can love it, I notice. Yes. It was, it was, it was tenderly intense and intensely tender and all that. But, 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 but what? What did you want her to do? Eh? Talk to the parrot while she was standing there? No, sir. No, no, no. Vishy is talking. Vishy was enough. Come, come, son. Speak up. Speak up. What was it you didn't like? It was, uh, sir, too uh, erotic. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, mother danced that same item 30 years ago. I admire her courage, sir. <laughs> so you feel it shouldn't be done? No, I really can't. <coughs> I don't know much about these things, you know. I you seem to know enough to pass a judgment. Oh, sir, I was not passing a judgment, sir. I simply gave my opinion, that's all. Oh, you have an opinion. You're very welcome to your opinion for whatever it's worth. No, I know I'm not very knowledgeable on the subject. I simply say it because it was Lata who was dancing, no? Yeah? And, uh, and, all the, uh, and, uh, and, ah. So now we are coming a little closer to your true opinion. You do not want Lata dancing Erotic numbers. Gee, Daddy, you make it sound so crude. What erotic numbers? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing crude about it. I dance the same item. Yes, for the army. See, a friend of mine was organizing the program. The money was very good. But they only wanted a woman. And your mother was too scared to dance. So, I wore a costume and her jewelry. <laughs> And whatever else it took to make me look like a woman, and I danced the item. And they loved it. I mean, they loved it even more when they found out I was a man. But knowing it was the army, maybe that's not altogether surprising. What do you have to say to that? Uh, sir, I really admire your courage. You know, I have nothing against a dancing, sir. It wouldn't be fair for me to. All I'm saying is that, that, uh, that, what am I saying? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That it, it, is, it isn't necessary to make it. <laughs> I don't know what you think, sir, but uh, this is what I feel. I mean, I don't know what she feels. No, so. you see, see, Vishwas, Vishwas, that piece was choreographed by my father for my mother 30 years ago. Yes, yes. They have even won critical acclaim abroad for pieces like the Ashtabadi. Yes, sir. So I fail to see any reason why I can't perform it today. No, 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 no. If you want to perform it, you can do it. No, I have no problem. What? They're trying to stop me? No. You know that you can't. Huh? But you want to? <laughs> do you remember what you told me in this very room? One child right away, another one, let us see. Yes. Does this still hold good? Yes, Vishwas. 
<laughs> thank you so much thank you so so much what a relief huh? <laughs> and uh, sir now you can teach your daughter some more ashtapadis i have to rush to the shop and supervise the making of jalebis <laughs> my father is busy chasing government officials to sanction a plan for a multi storied mithai complex oh, oh, oh that will be a paradise for the marwari community <laughs> yes sir what's it for breakfast no i really must rush before the cook steal all the ghee <laughs> I will make excuses to your mother and be on my way. <laughs> so, what do you think of him? Very odd. <laughs> he has his quirks, Daddy, like the rest of us. I only wonder what his father is going to turn out like. Ah, uh, him you will meet pretty soon. <clears throat> you better go in and see how your mother is feeling. Why? He's sitting in the kitchen and crying. <coughs> Mummy, <coughs> mind you, she could be cutting onions. I didn't notice. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. He's crying. Sir, uh, if you want, I can stay and uh, maybe help. but i guess i should be going if there is nothing else then bye means people <laughs> so breakfast is not ready yet what were you doing in the kitchen all this time <laughs> one of your headaches or is it depression now that the excitement of lata's performance is over eh? it's too early in the day to be drinking i don't want to drink so then what has changed this what has changed uh, accounted for this sudden change in mood don't you have changes in mood oh yes but i don't sit in the kitchen crying no you sit in this room drinking highly recommended it. it stops you from crying look at me i never cry that is because you're a man oh so kind of you you were not so complimentary on an earlier occasion now don't start all right all right let us not discuss my gender let us talk about you same thing you talk about me we talk about you <coughs> not when i choose the subject <coughs> when were we ever short of subjects a suitable subject you are 60 i am 62 now we must become more selective what subject <coughs> shankar anything but that Please. Ah, that uh, it displeases you immensely, does it not? Go on, say it. Do your worst. I'm too tired to fight you. Ah, that'll be too easy. All right, let's talk about something else. You never talk. You attack. That I learned from you. All right, let us talk about Lata. What about her? Now, Lata is a dancer. Of course, everyone's recognized that now after all my efforts. Our. Efforts. Yes. And you are happy. What a question to ask. Are you happy for her? <coughs> of course, she had my blessings and my guidance. And now that her performance has been noticed by the right people, there's no reason why she shouldn't. Of course, she'll have to practice very hard and take her career very seriously. And then. And then there's the foreign festival. I shall use all my contacts to see that she gets it. I shall use all my efforts to see that she's included. Yes, I have every reason to be happy. Have you read her reviews? Not all of them. Not yet. Did you want to read them? I was meaning to read them. Then why didn't you read them earlier? I was busy earlier. <coughs> What with Vishwas dropping in? Are Vishwas brought two of the papers? I was busy in the kitchen. Weren't you even interested in knowing what the critics had to write about her performance? I know what is in these reviews. You have not even bothered to I read them. I heard star of the festival, the dancer of the decade. Why shouldn't she get reviews like this after all my efforts, spending sleepless nights arranging things, sweet talking those critics? All my hard work has paid off, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Where are you going? I'm going to paste <laughs> these reviews in our album. Our album? Yes. You're going to paste 
her if you use in our <laughs> album? Why not? There's plenty of space. But they don't belong there. Well, we don't have another album. Well, it's about time we got one then. Then you go and buy one. But these I'm pasting in my album. Our album. Yes. No, you're not pasting her reviews in our <coughs> album. They don't belong <coughs> there. I will. These critics give her good reviews because she deserved them. Not because they were doing you any favor. Oh, come on. Face it, woman. Breakfast is ready. Come and get it. I'm sorry, Ratha. I'm not having you pasting her reviews in our album, pretending that they are yours. I'm serving hot cookies. Eat them when they're hot. No. All right, all right, love. Come, come along. Let's go and have breakfast. I'm not hungry. Ratha! At least you have a daughter to be jealous of. Sri Amrit Lal Pare. The state of the house is not in. He is away receiving awards for serving the nation while his Lakshmi of the house has been away receiving a claim for a talent. Shut up, Jay. You'll wake the baby. Oh, yes, yes. I, I forgot about the baby. Our little baby is fast asleep. We mustn't disturb him. Where are you going? Up to see if he's all right. Yes, yes. Let's go up. Up to see if baby's all right. You stay right here till you learn to be quiet. I'll be quiet. Real quiet. Oh, let's go up. Real quiet. Stay here, you drunkard. <laughs> Don't you dare come up. <coughs> all right. All right. I'll stay here. You go up and see how our little Shankar is sleeping. <laughs> Make sure his nose is dry and his bed is in wet. His grandfather checks his mattress every morning. Even turns him over and checks his backside. Then grandfather puts his finger in his mouth and checks his gums. When his teeth are fully grown, I hope he bites him. <laughs> and then when he's grown up, I'll teach him how to dance. Dance of Shiva. Dance of a man. And when he's ready, I'll take him to his grandfather and make him dance on his head. <laughs> More of dance, beating his drums and trampling. Oh, 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 how is our little lord of dance? I don't know. Oh. He didn't make a sound, so I did not turn on the light. He seemed fast good, asleep. Good, good, good. He is in a dreamland. Let him, let him stay there. Huh? It's a far better place than this. You know, tomorrow morning, I'm going to have a board hung outside this house saying, if ever there is a paradise, it isn't this. <laughs> it isn't this. It isn't this. Where is that wretched new ayah? She is probably fast asleep on the kitchen floor. She should have been near the baby in case he got hungry. You should have been near the baby in case he got hungry. Maybe you should have stayed back. You could have been of some use here. Oh, you didn't think I was useful there? Why, I thought I clapped the loudest. Stop this nonsense, Jay. I'm going to bed, you can sleep here. Ah. Am I disappointed you? Huh? You don't want to sleep with me? Never again? You are in no condition to be sleeping next to my baby. You stink. Oh. And a baby can sleep next to you mm, with your strong smell of jasmine and cheap atar. Here, you take this and don't even bother coming up. <laughs> what if you give? Is that why you like to dance? To have men admire your assets? And why do you dance, Tehra? I don't! I'm not good enough! How can you be when you are lying around drunk half of the time? Oh, I thought I drank because I wasn't good enough. Like the riddle, which came first, the chicken 
on the egg. You can read it all you want. I'm going to bed. Wait. I want to talk. What about anything? I just want to talk to somebody. Even you. I'm tired. The choice is between you and the ayah sleeping on the kitchen floor. Ah. <laughs> Choose you. And I choose to go to bed. Good idea. Let's go. What do you want from me, Jairaj? The decency to talk to me when I'm lonely. Talk? About what? About how you insult me in front of other people. About how ashamed you make me feel of you. Or about how disgusting you are. Oh, for God's sake, Jairaj, do something useful before it is too late. Do something useful to you, you mean? Do something. Do anything but stop this mockery. Do anything except be a dancer. Do something useful like choreographing your items. Do something useful like playing the flute. You are not even good at that anymore. Whose thought is that? You go drowning yourself in country liquor and ask me whose fault it is. Whose fault is that only you get invitations to dance? Surely not mine. One full year. One full year I refused to dance turning down invitations because I didn't want to dance alone. I ask for no such sacrifice. Tell me what you want in return. I'll do anything except sacrifice a year of my life in return. Can you give me back my self-esteem? When did I ever take it? Bit by bit. Bit by bit. You insisted on top billing in all our programs. You took it when you made me dance my weakest items. You took it when you were in the lighting in such a way that I was literally dancing in your shadows. And the names that you call me in front of other people. Huh? Names I'm ashamed to repeat even in private and you call me disgusting. You just don't want to face it, do you? It is me that they want to see dancing. A young, beautiful woman, yes. yes. A young, beautiful woman. And you are jealous of me for that. Huh? What kind of a man are you, Jairaj? Oh, 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 oh. So clever. No wonder you get along well with him. You get along well with who? My father. It was him, wasn't it? I don't know what you are talking oh, about. Please, him. please don't pretend. I'm not blind. Why did you? Why did he allow us to dance when we came back? He knew he had us in his hands. We would have listened to anything he said. You would have listened to anything he said. Not me. Chaitanya. He knew that he could stop you from dancing. But he could not stop me. Through me. You need to say sooner watch me turn into a drunkard and let me dance. That is your own doing, Jairaj. He regrets it happened this way. So do I. Oh, to you. <laughs> no, I think you prefer it this way. He lets you do what you want to do. You have me out of your way. He in turn is grateful to you. Huh? My father is always asking me to grow up. So this is a perverse way of thrusting me into adulthood. Each his own perversity. <laughs> Agreeing with your father, letting you off so that he could turn you into whatever shape he thought a man should have. I should have guessed the result. But when I say I regret it, I really mean it, Jay. You are brilliant. I truly am jealous of you, you know. You're quite a dancer. Quite a looker and quite an actress. I've got to hand it to you. You got style, not to mention brains. You destroy me first, then give the impression that there wasn't much to destroy in the first two days. Then blame it all on my father. Then suggest that I make myself useful by being your stage prop. And then use words like regret and expect me to shrug my shoulders. And resign myself to believe that my call in life is to serve you. Thank you very much for the talk. It has been an illuminating one.
Good night. It's time to feed the baby. How easily you fool yourself, huh? You think you are covered, don't you? I won't let you get away with it. You can't blame us for the state you are in and get away with it. What do you want, Jairaj? Do you want freedom? You had it and you came back to this prison. <coughs> or do you want to dance, Jairaj? Then why didn't you accept all those invitations when they came to you? <coughs> was it because of me or was it because you were too scared that if you danced alone, your mediocrity as a dancer would be exposed? <coughs> Ask yourself your true worth. You will get your answers. Yes, I did cut you off. But then you deserved it. So don't come crying to me saying that I destroyed you because I didn't have to. You did it all by yourself. And don't even expect me to feel sorry for you, Jay, because I'm too busy feeling sorry for myself and Shankar. When he grows up, he will feel the need for a father. Oh, you will be here all right. Where are you going to go? But all he will see is this exterior. It won't take him too long to realize that there is nobody home. If you take the trouble to knock, you'll find someone home. Are you all there for Shankar? He needs you now. Where are you? I know my duties and my capabilities and I take great pride in knowing exactly where I stand. Over there, in that loud costume, screaming out to everyone, Here I am! Is that where you are? It's extremely fancy coming from a drunkard like you. No matter how clever an actress you are, you can't convince me that you're playing the part of the mother too well. <laughs> you won't even know where to start. I can start by ending this sick conversation and going up now to feed the baby. Feeding Good night. Baby. That won't be necessary. He's fast asleep. He won't miss his meals. How do you know? He usually wakes up at this Not hour. Not on the nights you perform. What do you mean? The ayah. Go on. You know. An whole trick handed down from one generation of ayahs to another. I know. I was raised by one. Opium? Mm, effective, isn't it? He hasn't cried the whole night. But don't worry, they give just the right amount. She too? Yes, yes, she too wants a restful sleep on the kitchen floor. Just like a mother and a mother's mother. She too has given Shankar opium. Huh? What? She... What, what do you mean? What do you mean she too has given Shankar she... opium? What do you... You! Shankar! <laughs> Settle then. We move next month. The demolishers will arrive then. They will start with the front of the house, the new part. That will be the easy part to pull down. They built tough buildings in those days and tough people. But even tough people like my father get knocked over. Now we have moved to our new flat. It's a posh flat. The front of our balcony overlooks the top of a gulmohar tree. They were going to cut it down, I'm told. Obstructing the traffic, I believe. But it was saved by a group of retired old men living in this building. I believe I was one of them. Ari, did I tell you? Lata called today. 
when you had gone to visit Chandra Kala Devi. She was so happy when she found out what good friends the two of you have become. Also, how much the two of you have in common, like arthritis, for example. Lata called to tell us her little baby spoke her first words today. It sounded like Jalevi. <laughs> today, my liver ceased to function and I followed suit. You died soon after, out of boredom, I suspect. And now the flat is empty. It belongs to Lata and Vishwas. I see you coming towards what looks like heaven, riding with death on a buffalo. I greet you. You get off. The buffalo vanishes. We smile. We embrace. And we dance. We dance perfectly, in unison, not missing a step or a beat. We smile and we embrace and we talk about all the mistakes we made in our previous dances. We were only human. We lacked the grace. We lacked the brilliance. We lacked the magic to dance like gods. Australia, we've been to New, no, not Australia, New Zealand, Bangkok, um, Singapore, Malaysia, all kinds of places in this area. And I've always wanted to bring the play to Hong Kong. So first, a very big thank you to Ankur, Sonjoy, and the whole team, Parul, Rahul, all our backstage help uh, for inviting us to come and perform. We hope this is going to be the first of many, many performances. We're going to be back like bad pennies now, regularly. And uh, I know it's a small audience, but you were a wonderful, wonderful audience. Very serious. You weren't sure whether to laugh or not. Whether this was a comedy, whether this was a tragedy, was it emotional, was it what? And then I saw in about half an hour, you loosened up and said, what the hell, let's just laugh. <laughs> and so I think one of, the, one of the beauties of this play, by the way, we're celebrating, I think, 580 shows with this show. Across the world. It's uh, one of the longest the longest running Indian English play and an original one at that and it's been going on for over 20 years my friend Lynn who designed the lights keeps saying why are you flogging a dead horse I said this horse doesn't want to die it's constantly running off so um, it's just uh, so wonderful that we're still being invited after 20 years and 580 shows so that's that's a that's something that we're celebrating with you tonight and uh, I just wanted to say a very big thank you for being a fabulous audience thank you good night
craft revivalist Naila Tayaji tomorrow in the afternoon discussing Indian textiles and the sari. We have Jules here with us who's going to be doing Bollywood dance tomorrow evening. We've got Elsa Warning coming up. We've got Manju Mali later after that. So in, I hope you join us for all those events. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.